Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 through 27. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, Jesus reveals the cost and the essence of true discipleship. This passage challenges us to examine our own commitment to following Christ and embracing the path of self-sacrifice. To take up our cross is to embrace the challenges and the hardships that come with following Jesus. It's a recognition that discipleship involves self-denial, it involves a willingness to put God's will before our own desires, and an active participation in His redemptive work in this world. This call doesn't ask us to seek out suffering for the sake of suffering, but to be willing to endure it for the sake of love and the gospel. In a world that offers many conveniences, the call to take up our cross is kind of challenging. Yet, this is where true freedom and fulfillment lie. When we let go of the material things of this world and we align ourselves with Christ, we discover a deeper purpose and a joy that transcends the momentary challenges that we face. So let's consider our own lives. Are there areas where we have held back from fully embracing the call of discipleship? Are there attachments or concerns that hinder our wholehearted commitment to Christ? Let's remember that Christ's call to take up our cross is an invitation to participate in His transformative mission to love sacrificially and to find our ultimate fulfillment in Him. And so today, let's pray that we will respond to Jesus' call with open hearts, ready to follow Him with unwavering faith and selfless love. 